Hello everybody, and welcome to part two of the introduction to hydrogen generating. Right, so as we did in our previous video, we had the container, we had the water, also known as H2O, two parts of hydrogen and one part of oxygen for one molecule of water. We've got the negative electrode, the positive electrode, and the water molecules. Basically what happens is, as the conductivity of the water increases, some of the atoms split into their original hydrogen atoms and oxygen atoms. You can see that there are two hydrogen atoms here and only one atom of oxygen because of H2O like I said at the start of the video. Now what happens is, uh, just a little information here, a hydrogen atom contains one proton and one electron making it the lightest element on the periodic table. Oxygen atoms contain eight protons, eight electrons and eight neutrons making them quite heavy. A an oxygen atom looks a little bit like this. This is a very rough drawing, but you should get the idea. Basically, you've got the nucleus, the two electrons circling the nucleus on the inner circle. You've got the outer circle with six electrons, but uh, yeah, so the six electrons circling the inner circle with the two electrons and the nucleus. An interesting thing about this is that even though this only has six electrons, the outer circle has a capacity of eight electrons, which is a big part in electrolysis, in the process of electrolysis. If we come here, when the when the hydrogen atoms and oxygen atoms split, what they then go and do is the hydrogen atoms, so uh, it says here, a hydrogen atom gives off its electron to the oxygen atom and is left with one proton. So basically what happens is these two atoms here give up both their electrons or each of them gives off one electron to this one oxygen atom here. So then the hydrogen atom is left with just the proton. <clears throat> so it's just left with the proton and it then becomes a positively charged ion or a positively charged hydrogen ion. And then you've got the oxygen here which has then just received two electrons from these hydrogen atoms and now it's it has reached its full capacity with eight electrons on the outer circle. What that does is it then becomes an ion and it becomes a negatively charged ion. So uh, basically what happens is the ions then float around in the water freely and then when voltage is applied to the two poles the positive electrode and the negative electrode then the negatively charged oxygen ions are attracted to the positive electrodes and the positively charged hydrogen atoms are attracted to the negative electrode now, when these oxygen atoms uh, reach the positive electrode, it surrenders its two electrons that it received from the hydrogen um, atoms and then is left with only, back to its original state, with only six electrons. Um, um, and then it turns back into its normal state with only six electrons and converts back into normal oxygen gas 
which then builds up on the positive electrode and then bubbles up when the volume of the bubble is large enough to float. <coughs> now, what happens with the hydrogen atoms is that the hydrogen ions go to the negative electrode and when they get there they receive an electron each uh, which brings them back to their original state to form hydrogen gas which then builds up on the negative electrode and bubbles up just like on the positive electrode although you can see on the negative electrode there are more bubbles than the positive electrode so I hope this has helped you. Thank you for watching and enjoy messing around with hydrogen.